Tongue woman says she almost had her dog taken away for an attack he didn't commit. Police came to her door believing the dog had attacked a two-year-old girl. Nine on your side, Jay Warren is live in Middletown where he is discovering that wasn't true. Jay. That's correct, Tanya. Police now believe that a Dayton man and his family came down here to Middletown to visit his mother. And that two-year-old little girl was mauled by her pit bull inside the house. But then he tried to lie and blame it on a dog across the street because he was worried his mother's dog would be taken away. Two-year-old Monroe Smith required 80 stitches after she was attacked by a dog. Her father, Tyler Smith, said he and his daughter were outside when it happened. I grabbed her and it started growling, so I took off running and it jumped up and grabbed her face. Monroe's mother, Nicole Smith, had this to say about that dog. They need to put that dog down. He is vicious because the next child won't be so lucky. The description Smith gave police about a dog roaming free led them to this dog about a block away, a blue healer named Polar, owned by Pamela Willard. Tell me my dog had bit uh, a child. She didn't believe it and said it wasn't possible. I said, I'm going to ask you one question. I said, um, what time was this child bit? And they said, five. I said, because it took you an awful long time to get a hold of me. So what time was the child bit? And they told me uh, 5.30. I said, it wasn't my dog. I said, my dog was on the chain. Middletown police now believe she, in fact, was telling the truth because they got a call from someone inside this house with knowledge of what happened, telling police that it was a pit bull owned by Smith's mother that actually bit his two-year-old daughter, and he lied to protect the household. I went to that house today to try to get answers, but nobody came to the door. In the meantime, Willard is heartbroken for the child, but thankful this has ended the way it did. I just prayed to God that something right would come out of this, that the truth would come out. Now, fortunately, we're hearing that the little girl should make a full recovery. I called Middletown Police to ask a few questions, like whether that father would face uh, charges for filing a false report. Actually, Middletown did not get back to me for this story, and now the Butler County Dog Warden is on this case and we'll update it as it becomes available. Jay Warren, nine on your side, Middletown.